This is the Chola News Report for Saturday 28, April, 2018. Three Palestinians are killed, and over 300 hurt according to the Hamas-run health ministry as thousands converged on the border with Israel. The Israeli army says that hundreds of rioters tried to infiltrate Israel, attempted to start fires in a number of ways, and attacked the security fence with explosive devices, grenades, and rocks. United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights Said Rayad al Hussein asks Israel to refrain from using lethal force as protests. Enter their fifth week. Close the army, added that more than 10,000 Palestinians participated in Friday's events, saying attempts have been made to harm security infrastructure, roll burning tires, hurl rocks, and fly kites with flaming objects attached to them. A Hamas spokesman said Friday afternoon, the crimes of the occupation against demonstrators will only strengthen the motivation of youth to continue in the national struggle until the siege is broken. Arriving to a pocket of protests, political head of Hamas Yahya Sinwar said, we are continuing processions until the implementation of the right of return and breaking the siege and living with dignity. The boats were being prepared to sail beyond the six nautical mile limit set by Israel in protest of the maritime restrictions on Gaza, a Hamas activist familiar with the issue said, speaking on condition of anonymity, because the venture had not yet been announced. Israel and Egypt imposed the Gaza blockade in 2007, in response to a violent takeover of the territory by Hamas, which had won Palestinian parliament elections a year earlier. Jet engine manufacturer CFM International calls for heightened checks of its CFM 567, be after a Boeing 737. Passenger died in an accident this month. The CFM 567B is one of the most commonly used engines worldwide. U.S. and SPIN investigators are on scene examining damage to the engine of the Southwest Airlines plane in this image released from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, U.S., April 17, 2018. But the engine parts that have been under the most scrutiny may not have been the only factor in the accident, a company executive said Thursday. A passenger, bank executive Jennifer Riordan, was partially sucked through a blown-out window and died. The death toll from flash floods in the Dead Sea, Israel, reaches 14 including 10 teenage hikers with a lorry driver still missing. Three youth workers connected to the hike are arrested. Two Palestinian children are reported to have also died in the West Bank. The 10 victims, nine girls and one boy of around 18 years old, were killed when they were swept away by flash floods during a hike at Nahal Safit, south of the Dead Sea. Due to the fact that the area has seen flooding, possibly dislodging landmines following heavy rain, searches for the driver were proceeded carefully after a short lull.